Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And it's finally fucking here. King Rush 5 Alliance trailer officially out. It released like a couple hours ago. I can't wait. There's no need for introduction. You already know what this video is going to be about. We're going to be looking at the trailer. Firstly, initial reaction as per usual. And then we're going to try to analyze what's going on in this whole thing. It's a minute and 35 seconds. So I'm just going to shut up. Probably not. In a few seconds, I'm probably going to be screaming my ass off. Due to excitement, but yeah. Okay. Take a deep breath. Let's watch. Arcane Wizard? Bro, I just got abducted! Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. Could it be? Daddy! Daddy missed it! Oh, he looks so awesome. Wait, what? What are you doing here? You got this in the rain! Why is Dina's here? Okay, uh. Okay, here we go. Listen to nature. <laughs> Two heroes escape you. What is this? Do not falter. Bring it on. Okay, so it's gonna be a bad system. Glory to the fucking king! Jesus, that's... Mm. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's more. Okay, they're hailing the Overseer. The cult. There he is. Oh my, the Overseer. And there it is. Holy crap. Okay, coming out in July 25th. That's quite a long time from now. We, ha we have quite a few months until the game releases, but... Damn. I am pretty sure the wait is gonna be worth it. Like, look at all this. There's just a lot to analyze up in here. So, we're gonna skip past most of the cinematic here. And we're also gonna turn off the volume so you can actually hear me a little bit better. So, let's start from around here ish. So, we see Vesden appearing from a portal. Not sure why he appears from a portal. If I can catch the right frame, there it is. Yeah, he appears from a portal. But the question is, why? Again, we know, we're not sure where this battle takes place. By the looks of the first area, I think I have an idea where it might be happening. But before that, let's see. So, the biggest elephant in the room. Why is Dinas here? He literally got sent to another dimension at the end of Vengeance. You think he will be dead by now. But no, he's somehow miraculously alive. Maybe he got resurrected because he does look a little bit bulkier here. Like, he's not extra thick as he was in Vengeance. In fact, he looks very muscular, or maybe it's just the belt that makes it look like that, but I don't know, he just looks beefy. And yeah, it's gonna, it's nice to see Vesna and Dinas being on the same side once again, similar to, to how it was in Origins. And yeah, they just launched the assault here, and let's see. So this is our first scene of the potential gameplay. I can already see an achievement right here. I'm gonna click on this thing a thousand times when it, the game releases. We have uh, some aerial units and some ground units. So the ground units are boar-looking thingies. We have a what they presume to be a hero over there fighting them. I'm not sure what they do. Okay, so we have the barrack tower. We have a barrack. I think those are supposed to be paladins, but they're not fully upgraded yet. We have arcane wizard. So we have a lot of towers that, that are gonna be interesting. I'm not sure what this thing is. The, the, the guy in the middle. I think this is supposed to be a bonus tower for this particular stage because he seems to be linked. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna slow down the speed just so we can analyze it a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that. He just rains a bunch of uh, explosives around the map. So I think this is supposed to be like a bonus tower or maybe something that you purchase. Like, you, you, you put a point in it and you can activate it on command and it rains down... A ton of explosives on the gr across the map. I think that's what it does. So we have some sort of archer, the barrack, arcane, and whatever this rock thing is. Let's see what it does. Uh, 
Okay, we didn't see it. Maybe maybe it did something earlier. Let me see. Okay, it's getting... I don't know. Is, is it about to take a poop? What is this facial expression? Oh. Oh, so it's like an artillery tower. Okay, gotcha. So, kind of reminds me of the... I don't know. For some reason, it reminds me of the weird one. Just because of the facial expression, even though it's a rock. I don't know why. It just does. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this looks to be an area... This is probably going to be the last area of the game, at least of the main campaign, because, you know, we see the uh, over, we see the cultists and all the abominations. There's an elf slave over there, poor guy. Hopefully we get to save him. Another hero. Oh my god, there's an Imperial Guard! Oh, he looks so awesome. Look at, the, look at this guy. So yeah, this was the Paladins. We got the Necromancer, everyone's favorite tower. We have some sort of ballista-looking tower, which is, I presume, an archer. I mean, what else could it be? We have another hero, which as we've noticed, the biggest thing is, there's gonna be m the, the option to bring up multiple heroes. So, that's gonna open up a lot of cool synergies, I can already tell. We have some, I think, what is this thing? What is that? I think it's supposed to be a cl mutated cloud stalker, just because of the posture and the general body type. It kind of reminds me of a cloud stalker. Okay, this is the tier 4 archer, let's see, anything else? Alright, oh my god, that's a ginormous cloud stalker, look at this thing. And we get some sort of ghosts with chains. Okay, we have whatever this guy is. I guess some sort of mutated people. Then, what? What? What is that? Is that a totem? This looks like a totem to me. I'm not sure what it does though. Maybe it's like a boost or debuff. We see some sort of aura around the tower, so... I don't know what the, what that is. Is it like a debuff to the towers? Is someone causing it? I don't know. There's just a lot of things that that need to be analyzed. But again, I can only s say so much because damn. Okay, we have this secondary here. This other hero, which looks like a mech of sorts. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just another hero. Okay, so he has a some sort of jump AOE attack. Alright, here we got uh, this guy or girl. I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it was a girl because I heard because the voice sounded female to me. So kind of reminds me of the witch doctor, but if he was fused with Brave Bar, because I don't know if that's the ultimate ability. But look at this, look at those. This kind of reminds me of a Brave Bar ultimate. But the thing is, it doesn't quite go through the whole map, so. Maybe it's like a specific area that you can target. Interesting. We also get another tier 4 tower, which is quite interesting. I don't know what this thing is. Looks like a triple artillery tower. Maybe... Actually, now that I'm looking at the bullets a little bit more, or the ammunition, I suppose, kind of looks like some sort of mines. Maybe the tower lays mines in its range, and whoever walks in it detonates it. I think that's how it works. We also have some big-looking guys. These are smaller. I assume those are like the base enemies. And we have some rats with uh, daggers. Do they have a ranged attack? Uh, let, let's watch it again. Maybe we'll see them. In, maybe we'll see an interaction between them. I'm gonna skip back a little bit more. Okay, um, no, well, we don't get to see. Maybe they have a, maybe they shoot, maybe they throw the daggers, maybe they're just, like, a very fast base enemy. I don't know. They seem to be moving quite fast, so I like that. Okay, does the hero do anything else? We don't get to see. Bring two heroes in battle. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Uh, hold on. Hold the phone. I want to read. No, 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 no. Nay, I'm pretty sure there was someone else. Oh, why did I do that? Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Sh We're doing it on 0 0.25 speed. I am reading this crap. That's lore. I'm craving for lore. Oh my god, I can't time it properly. Oh, okay. We're gonna pause it right now. It seems odd, I know. It's very bright, but I can read it. So, Ray... Raylin. Raylin? I don't know. The, the imposing Rylin lives to, to lead the, the Dark Knights at the Vanguard. Oh, I already like her. 
Her brutality and relentlessness earned the Vezdan's uh, recognizing and a linear sphere, always ready for the good a good fight. She was the first volunteer to join the Dark Wizard's ranks. Oh, so she is a wizard! Oh, but her abilities don't look very wizardy to me. In fact, she seems to be a melee character, so... Why, how is she a, a wizard if she's melee? Interesting. Okay, there's this uh, hero that we saw earlier, Nairu. Despite the childish looks, the trickster Nairo has been uh, protecting the forest for hundreds of years using his hiss. Okay, so it's a guy. I thought it was a girl for a moment, but I guess I, I guess it was uh, bamboozled. With the force of nature, he joined. Okay, so his lore is not important. All right, let's see anything else. Grimson. Ooh. Okay. What are you, sir? After resisting being turned into an abomination by the cult. Oh, we have a survivor from the cult! That's gonna be awesome! Okay, uh, the mercenary Crimson... C Grimson, I'm, I, I, can, I said Crimson, my bad. Grimson was imprisoned and left to, to rot. The torturous uh, process granted Grimson uh, shape-shifting powers, which he uses to escape from the cult, vowing to, to, to come back for revenge. Oh, so he's a shapeshifter! That explains these two abilities. So, I assume you shapeshift into some sort of monster. Interesting. <gasps> Who are you, sir? Thoris. Okay, I really like this guy. Look at how muscular he is. Like, mm, that stash, though. That stash is mm, something else. Here's a change. Okay, let's see. Who is this guy? I think I know two about battle. Now that the uh, whole kingdom is daring and, and board watching from the sidelines. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of reading it in my mind. You can, you can read it on your own volition. Okay, so he just works for... He's from Lanaria. Okay. Anya. Okay. Ooh. She looks very reminiscing of Dante. Kind of looks like a female version of Dante, but... They're, oh, wait. Born from the union of the vampire Lucrezia and Dante the Hunter. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, so it finally happened. Lucrezia and Dante were ready to mingle, and this is the end result. So we have a... Pretty interesting result, okay. <laughs> Some sus things were happening behind the scenes, but I don't care. As long we got that. I'm not sure what she's gonna do though. She seems to be a mostly a combat. She's gonna have some sort of vampiric abilities and also some really cool gun moves. I'm definitely gonna be using her because I love Dante, so I'm probably gonna like her as well. Plus, her kit looks phenomenal. Look at the ultimate. Is she gonna summon Dante's ghost? Oh, hell yeah. I'll mean to that. Okay, we kind of skipped over this guy or girl. I don't know who this is, but kind of looks like a Twilight Elf to me. And then we get this mecha thing. Okay, so it's from the Dark Army. So let's see. Does it say anything about it being related to Doom Tank? Because it might be. Oh, they have sales by creating a warring automatic to apply the warhead. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the Doom Tank. For some reason, I thought this thing was connected to the Doom Tank because. I don't know, something about this design screamed Dune Tank to me, but it's not. Also, is it is he gonna turn into a train? That's what the ultimate looks to me. Imagine him turning into a train and just ramming over people. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Okay, let's see, anything else? <gasps> oh my god, we have a new dragon. I hope he is gonna be busted as crap so we can hate on him. <laughs> okay, I, maybe not. Okay, sorry, between the realms. Okay, stances up. Uh, Avatar of Justice and Resolve. She is the oh, it's a fe it's a female. All right, she is the fabled light bringer, revived in the Orient Paladins. Okay, so she's like the holy dragon. Interesting. Okay, let's see anything else. Okay, so we got a dark dragon as well. I think this is like the cor a corrupted dragon, but he is an ally because as you can see he is attacking the enemies. He seems to have an AoE attack. Oh no, he's giving me ice cold vibes. I don't like that. Also, this enemy right here, it seems very familiar. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Exultant. And this guy is definitely the... Um, oh, I forgot I forgot the name. The ranged attackers. What were they called? Uh, sorry, it's kind of late at night, so my brain isn't functioning at its full capacity. Plus, I'm still overhyped. But yeah, these are definitely enemies from Legends of Kingdom Rush, as you've already noticed. 
And we also got the tentacle. Let's see, anything else? So we have a sword that just slams down and does a crap ton of damage. Okay, here we get a... An, a oh, wait, 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 wait. There are two new towers. We get the the rocket the the rocket rider guys, you know, from the original Kingdom Hearts, but this time they have some sort of guns. And we also have a... Oh my god, this is so funny. Look at this guy. Oh! Wait. This tower just summons barrack units like that? Oh! Interesting. For some reason I thought this was gonna be an artillery tower, but no. It just yeets units <laughs> in a pretty funny manner. I like it. Okay. So we get uh, this hero right here. Alright. Combine elite towers. Okay, let's see the towers. What do we get in the store for us? Okay, so we have royal archers. Okay, so... Nice. Let's see, anything else? Okay, we got the, the demon pit. So, it's a barrack tower. I should have I should have thought about it, I mean... It'll be kind of it'll be kind of stupid if they just launch themselves just to explode on impact, you know. Okay, let's see. I think we get to see another tower, right? We get to see another one. Okay, we got the ballista. So it's kind of it's kind of like the golden longbow in a way. It just long ranged, does a lot of damage, but doesn't have a good attack speed. Reasonable. And the oh my god, we're gonna get the necromancer back. I'm gonna love the crap out of it. I mean, I know the tower is overrated in, fr in Frontiers, but in Alliance, it might be actually very broken. Or maybe it's gonna be balanced, I don't know. We'll see. Let, do we, Well, we're not gonna see every single tower, obviously, because they're gonna show only a few, but still. Oh my god, okay, so another level. We're definitely noticing the Blazing Gem, don't you think I'm not? I mean, honestly, is it the Blazing Gem? I don't think it is, because look at the formation. Because it, is, it shoots a red ray, I thought it was the Blazing Gym, but no. I think this is the Sorcerer Tower thingy. I, for, I, forgot what, I forgot what its name was because I haven't looked in the code for a long time, but... Yeah, this is the Sorcerer Tower that you get on uh, level... What was it? 11? I think... No, it was level 10, right? From uh, the first Kingdom Rush game. So, this... Tower looks interesting, but it also looks corrupted since it's shooting a red beam, and well, the guys are kind of turned into stone, so that's a rip. Okay, we get this tower right here, which I don't know if it's an ally tower. It seems to be an ally tower. Yeah, because you get you summon these guys. Hmm. So it's like a interesting barrack unit, kind of like the mausoleum, but in a barrack form. Also, we get a mage who looks very similar to Lady. Also. God damn those those tits. I I know. I know it's sus, but come on. Tell me you wouldn't notice it. Okay, we get the the creation of uh, Lucrezia and Dante up in here, so let's see if she does anything interesting. Okay, she was stunned apparently. So I guess we're not gonna see anything from her. Well that's a bummer. I wanted to see something. Okay, what is this? Is this the is this still the barrack tower? Yes. <gasps> How did it disappear? Hello? Excuse me? Uh, is there gonna be tower destruction? If so, I'm gonna love it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it, it, it got destroyed. And also this guy chained the tower. So there's gonna be tower disabling and tower destruction. Okay, I already love it. I already love it. Also, what the hell is that? Okay. Does this tower do anything? What the... Okay. I know we're watching it at like 0 0.25 speed, but I just wanna see if it... I just want to look at the details. Okay. Maybe let's skip ahead a little bit. Let's see. Does this tower get to... Okay, so it is another artillery tower. So my prediction was right. Also, we get the big guy over there. Look at him. He's definitely going to be like some sort of frontline tank. I mean, look at this giant club. He's going to beat the crap out of everyone. Okay, we see more of this Cloud Stalker. We see the... Oh! Wait... No, the, I, I, for some reason I thought these guys were friendly, but they're not, because they're fighting a Bonum. And also, yeah, I've noticed the Bonum a long time ago. So, I guess the Necromancer can summon Bonums for some reason? Maybe maybe he can summon... Maybe he's gonna work like the old Necromancer, aka enemies uh, are gonna turn into some sort of skeleton based on their max HP. So the higher, the higher health enemies die within range, 
they're gonna turn into something stronger. Maybe the bottom is like from a high tier enemy dying in range. At least that's my assumption. Also, I don't know who this, what this thing is. Oh, oh, well, this, whatever, whatever this guy did, yeah, we have an insta kill. Okay, so I think this is like a one of the heroes because we see this guy over there and wh whoever this one is. So that's nice. Okay, let's see. Defeat the dreadful enemies. Okay, let's see. What what dreadful enemies we get in store? So, this is one of the bosses. Oh my god, those are the gnomes. They look so dope. Look at look at them. They're just so... Look at that smirk on their face. I love it. Okay. Gnomes returning. 10 out of 10. Already love it. Okay, so this tower... Does it shoot a Bray? I guess we won't know. Okay, we got a Rhino. Who is super duper fast. Damn, that's that mobility. Dear lord. Okay. <gasps> is this a battle maker? <laughs> Bruh, we have a battle maker. Look at how cool it is. We have a freaking battle maker and a death rider. But why is the. Wait. No, the. the, the I was about to say, is the death rider an enemy? And then I just noticed it dealing damage to enemies. So, no, it isn't. I don't know why I thought it was an enemy. But whatever. Okay, so that seems to be one of the abilities of uh, the Necromancer because if we go back a little bit to the towers, if if we hover, well, I'm not gonna go back exactly, but if we hover over the Necromancer right here, you can see there is the Death Rider is one of the icons, like right here. Oh, okay, maybe not here. There it is. It, he's right there. So that's what the ability does. So you just summon this guy and he just runs runs enemies over and poisons them. That's pretty dope. And then we also get uh whatever this thing is. I don't think it's a boss since yeah, it's, it's not a boss. It's just like a a high tier enemy, I assume. Okay, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit because I want to hear this voice line again for the king. I want to I want to I want to just figure it out if is if someone familiar is saying a said voice line. To the king! Hmm. No, it doesn't sound like any anyone that I can remember. Okay, so we might have some a new Maybe it's maybe it's a hero voice line for all I know. We'll see. Okay, so is that the final boss? Really? I hope it's not. I hope this is like uh some sort of mini boss because if that's the final boss, come on, Ironhide. Why you got? Why you gotta show me that? I want it to be a surprise. So this appears to be female. I don't know. So judging by the posture and the clothing, definitely a female. And we get this thing. Wait, hold on a second. My senses are tingling. This guy looks very familiar to someone. So there's he. I don't, I don't remember the name of this guy, I, I don't remember it, but he is one of the bosses in uh, Iron Man's Invasions, and he was one of the main villains, because he was connected to the Overseer. <gasps> Does that mean Iron Man's Invasion is starting to connect? Oh my god, I hope that's the case. I wanted, I, I, I wanted Iron Man's Invasions to be a thing to, like for a long time. So if, if that's happening, I am... Uh, I'm just... Mm. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting... So... so Sorry, I mean, like, I'm feeling so so many emotions at the same time. Like, I want to cry, I want to laugh, I want to I wanna scream, I want to do all and the above. Alright. So, I think we've analyzed everything that we can. And we also see at the end here that the Overseer is coming out again. So, we might get to fight the Overseer this time around. Maybe this thing, maybe this uh, witch or or a descendant, or whatever she is supposed to be. Maybe she's gonna be like the final guardian before we get to the Overseer. At least that's what I imagine. And then we have this guy, who is very familiar. Or maybe I'm over-exaggerating it. Maybe that's like a shadow clone of herself, but there is a little bit of a difference with the horns, and the gem looks slightly different. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just her. Maybe it's just one of her abilities. Maybe she just summons a shadow clone that does something. I don't know. All right. In any case, that's gonna do it for the video. So July twenty fifth. Mark that date on your calendars because you already know I'm gonna be streaming the crap out of this game whenever it comes. Whenever when it comes. 
Oh, I'm so excited and can't wait. Well, it was definitely worth the wait. Good job, Ironhide. I'm very impressed with your uh, with the trailer, and I have high expectations. So hopefully, this game is gonna be fun, entertaining, and most importantly, well balanced. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're aiming for: balanced, balanced games is all I want. So, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And if you have any theories on the trailer that you of your own, leave it, leave them in the description, and I'll make sure to check them out and probably respond. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over and out.